All right, well, guys, after struggling a little bit, uh, turning on the GoPro and then realizing I didn't have a battery in it, here we are a couple days later. I got the fuel wheel back from my friend. I already got the injectors back in. Essentially, you literally just push them in and slide the clips on. Um, but yeah, he welded it up for me right there, as you can see. There was indeed a hole. Um, he said it ain't pretty, but uh, it won't break. It won't leak. So, hoping and praying that this works this time. Hoping and praying that this finishes the 944 because I really want it to be done. It's starting to get cold. The It's already past daylight savings time or whatever. Daylight savings time or on or off. I can't remember what it is. But, um... Yeah, the uh, it's basically getting dark at about five five tens today's sunset. So, um, yeah, it's like two o'clock and the sun's clear over there already. Not a fun time, but anyway, it's a nice day outside. It's freaking gorgeous. It's like 65 right now. So I'm gonna make sure we get this on the 944 while I have some time and uh, it's warm. So anyway, let's slide her in there. Basically, just put the injectors in, um, bolt it down, clip it all together basically do the reverse of what I showed in the beginning of this video. All right guys, well, we're getting to the moment of truth here. I got the fuel rail completely reinstalled. Everything's torqued and tightened. I really hope this works. I really hope this is it. I really hope this car's back at 100% to start, run and drive. So let me go get the keys and we'll start it. All the fingers crossed you possibly can. Please work. I'm terrified. Are you? I'm terrified. Oh my gosh. I need the battery alive. Unless it isn't on right, or is that in the same place? That's the same place. Yeah. Yeah, it's still leaking. He told me to explain, so it's leaking. It's still leaking. Yeah, it's still leaking. It's leaking. It's definitely not leaking as bad as before, so he got most of where it was cracked, but it's still dripping. Coming from, like, underneath of there. I think it, it absolutely can be fixed, yeah. but it's just annoying. <laughs> it's still <Yes>. happening. <laughs> it's like... Why? Come yeah. on, man. I just want it to be running. Yes. I mean, it runs. Yes. It just doesn't, it, it, it won't run good. Yeah, it runs. It sounds good. The video doesn't yeah. really pick up how good it sound, actually sounds. It sounds like a tractor in the video, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, whoa. And it does not sound like it, like it actually does. Back at it again. Taking Ooh. the fuel rail off. <laughs> These clips are a pain in my All right, guys. Well, I guess it's third time the charm. I, I hope it's the charm anyway. Uh, Joel basically pressure tested this thing, um, covered every single hole and, you know, ran air through it to see where the leaks were coming from. He welded it up a little bit more uh, where the leaks were coming out at and everything. Hopefully this works. Hopefully there's no more fuel leakage. Um, hopefully this is it. Hopefully the car runs after this and runs forever. That'd be amazing. Um, Anyway, let's go put this back together. All right, guys, I've got it sitting in there now. I bought some more uh, bolts from Advance that are pretty much the exact same. They're, they're the same thread and size and everything, just a slightly smaller, like shorter bolt. I had to go in here that way. Don't have to worry about this one because this one actually stripped out the last time. It was not a fun time getting out of there, but uh, yeah, it's sitting in there now. Hopefully the rear welded uh, area doesn't leak. Hopefully no other areas leak either. Fingers crossed, really, because it's starting to get pretty cold. It's uh, it's like 40 degrees out right now. Well, maybe 50, 52 degrees out right now with the wind blowing. Sun makes it feel feel decent, but uh, yeah, hopefully this is it because I really don't have much more uh, year to work on this because it's gonna start getting even worse. All right, so I've got all of them slightly threaded and started basically um, all the new bolts and everything. If anyone's wondering what thread these are, they're M6 by 1.0. This is the Dorman part number for the box of four. And then I also got some uh, 
M6 lock washers too. That way they don't decide to loosen themselves. So it's time to tighten all these down. Um, I haven't been tightening them to torque spec. I guess it's eight foot pounds if you guys really want to do that. Um, but yeah, these are the uh, all the new bolts got in there nice and shiny nice and pretty this one i don't have threaded in but um i'll get it here in a second all right well i've gotten them all hand tightened down in there with the the wrench there now it's time to plug all these connectors back in to the injectors which is much easier than taking them off so easy in fact that i can show you me doing it because i don't need 15 hands to take these guys off now do, 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 do. and the last one just goes right in there. Beautiful. I should have routed it under that. Gosh darn it, now I gotta take them apart again. Ah. Well guys, the third time was not the charm. Uh, I also need to jump too because I've started it so many times and not let the alternator charge the battery. But as you can see, there's fuel all right here, all up in there. Um, yeah, not a good time. It's still leaking in the same spot. <sighs> so now I gotta take it all back apart again. Gosh darn it. All right, well guys, um, I, ha I haven't been recording this because I just needed to get it done, but it's not leaking. Yes, yes, yes. 